Now that the conference was in its wind-up day, all of us, it seemed, had a sense of being inspired and energised to build on our experiences at this year's Negum, in our individual work back at our own offices in our various home states. At around 6.45 we were variously eating a relaxed breakfast, going through the morning papers, or gathering to network our ideas with the other delegates. Do you, do you feel do you feel like you are adequately represented? Do you, do you have a good feel for the youth contingents part of, of this conference? I feel we're quite well represented. Yeah. It's, it's been really good and it's been very accessible. All the terms have been very well explained and been quite included. Yeah. I yeah, feel like we uh, learned a lot, so we got a lot out of it, and um, we made some new friends, we had some fun, but all at the same time we uh, learned all about what MC is about. Great yeah. So, w what do you think? I know it may sound a, a silly question, but what, what would you take away from this conference in the sense of, I know, where to from here for you guys? Um, slightly more motivated about governance issues. <laughs> you see them as important, yes? Yes. Yeah? Yes. The speakers were all very motivating too, so I might take my letter writing a little too seriously. They're a switched on bunch of guys, aren't they? I'm sorry? They're a switched on bunch of guys, aren't they? As it turns out. Very, very dedicated. So, not yeah. that we, uh, we always took letter writing seriously, but I will take it more seriously, definitely. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, I'll be uh, following the leader's orders, <laughs> but uh, that I'll be taking it um, more seriously as well, and I feel more passionate about working for him as well. So, uh, I got this experience, that will give you more more Thanks, Jack. So here we are, day three. Um, do, you, do you feel like it's going well? Have you, have you got a, a, a personal take on, 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 on this, this year's negative? Yeah, I think it's gone very well. I think it's run very smoothly. I think there's a nice feel of camaraderie and people are pretty relaxed but still very mindful I guess that this is an important uh, meeting to be at but yeah I think a good feel. Yeah, did you, uh, what did you think of last night? Did you? Yeah, yeah. You last night was, was great fun? Last night was great fun, I thought the band was fantastic. Um, I thought the award to Peter Handley was uh, very appropriate. Um, but yeah, all around good night. Yeah, and um, do you have a feeling about how this one went? Do you think it was a, a success? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think there's, there's still quite a bit to get through, and I think this morning, of course, is when we we, um, we make decisions on resolution, so this is a very big part of, of, of what the meeting is about. But yeah, I think it's had a very good feel. I think there's a very interesting plenary session um, this, this afternoon, um, and some more workshops. So yeah, very good feel, generally. Thanks, Denise. Yeah. In the morning, Various working parties were engaged with finalising the resolutions, before voting time which was at 10am. The rest of us did some more networking and took it relatively easy, working at our own pace. Negum was almost over, and many of us were feeling a little drained, though filled with ideas and material, and in many ways quite ready for the trip home. Negum, though fascinating and engaging, was, as it turns out, quite a meal for the mind and would be worthy of quite some digesting and resting from for a good day or two, at least in my case, before returning back to work on Tuesday. At 10am it was time for the voting. Gathering in the Emil Witten room, the guidelines for the voting process were explained by our facilitator for the conference, Anna Scarbeck. Voting delegates were given voting cards to hold up to register their vote for the affirmative. To aid clarity, as numbers were taken from the facilitator's vantage point for each of the 13 resolutions, which had been rehashed and reworked and re-sculpted in language during the last two days. The voting delegates among the gathering were first asked if the resolution could be passed by consensus. Most resolutions passed this way. Others required some further thought, as some minor objections were present from delegates. On the whole, the voting section of the conference was a success. In an adequate and satisfying amount of time, satisfaction was gained on all resolution status, and the session gained closure. Lunchtime In the afternoon, after lunch, 
We had a panel discussion led by Graham Innes, a notable advocate for human rights, Paul Kelly, an editor of the newspaper The Australian, and David Maher, a prominent journalist and author of many books. It turned out to be a fascinating and provocative discussion surrounding the issue of refugees seeking asylum in Australia. Later, we had our third and last workshop session, and I learned more about online campaigning and how it can be used more effectively. It was towards the end of this workshop that I was hurried by my fellow Tasmanian delegates to a taxi, as we had an early plane to catch back to Hobart. This marked the end of the 2009 Negum for me. It had been a fascinating experience, and I had learnt a lot, and above all found that I now felt like I understood the organisation a bit better, and understood, to paraphrase Anna Scarbeck's words on the first day, that we are indeed a bunch of somewhat ordinary people dedicated to a common cause, sitting in rooms just like these throughout Australia and the whole world, all quite human and approachable and all gently getting on with the job of mobilising to defend the human rights of the voiceless and the powerless. What struck me the most at this year's Negum was how well accepted I had been. A stranger from Tasmania, yet accepted and respected, even from my very first conversation. <laughs>